Welcome to Z Connect, Mohan. Thank you so much, Priya. My pleasure. I think you're like a, generally a very happy and positive and a bubbly yeah, person yeah. and a very cheerful person. You've done so much work over the years. Tell me, if you wanted to just very quickly summarize your journey from SAP CD days until now, how would you do that? Hmm. Do we have time? <laughs> uh, well, um, actually, it all started. Uh, in 1989, I was in advertising, I was in the marketing division and uh, one of my clients, a uh, confectionery brand, they were launching a new chocolate variant and I was servicing the account but the creative team, they presented them a script for the launch of that chocolate and the kind of character that was required for that chocolate brand, I don't know, for some reason the client said, hey, let's cast Mohan for this. So they said, yeah, great idea and also they came into me, hey, you're going to uh, be the model for this. I said, me? Model? I said, oh, okay. So we did it. Now, because I was servicing the account, I had privy to the research data. And the research showed that nobody remembered the brand, but they all remembered his performance and his expression. So somehow that thing kind of got a lot of traction. And then I got calls from some theater directors. So I did theater, you know, in the evenings, aside from my um, um, day job of advertising. And from there, then I left an agency, I joined another agency. That agency, the MD was partnering with another gentleman and they were coming up with India's first private satellite channel, ZTV. And um, so one of the uh, creative directors from my earlier ad agency, he came to meet my MD because my MD was in charge of all the creative work. He sees me there, the creative director, and he said, what are you doing here? I said, I work here, what are you doing here? He said, I've come to meet your boss to uh, discuss concepts for your new ZTV. So he said, just wait, I've got to talk to you about something. So office hours finished, but I was hanging around waiting for him because he's a dear friend. He came out and he said, I've got a show, which turned out to be Saab CD. He's saying, it's a one take show. It's the first time in India there's going to be multi cameras, which is more than one camera. And he's saying that there's no script. And on action, we start rolling and on cut, the episode ends. So I said, oh, okay. He's saying, how's your Hindi? As good or as bad as anyone in Bombay. So he said, that, okay, let's give it a shot. So it began there and from that one modeling assignment to theater to Saab CD. Saab CD was the uh, milestone which kind of then opened up the vistas and the world and, and then just life continued and then a lot of TV and stuff like that. I was very picky about what I had to do so there was a lot of TV and then somewhere along the way I kind of got bored because coming from a background of communication advertising so I would always look for logic and you know a certain element of characterization script. And, which I wasn't finding and I was just kind of trudging along and I said, what am I doing with my life? So I gave it up and I started working behind the camera. A producer friend of mine, he told me, he said, why don't you write? If you speak so well, I'm sure you can write so well. I said, hey, nah. But lo and behold, I wrote for ZTV, a crime, uh, a one-off episode. Those were the days when they used to have this show called Saturday Suspense. So we wrote a, I wrote a one episode story on that and uh, it did damn well. In fact, we got the Thriller of the Year award for that show. So then that kind of got me encouraged, I said, hey, maybe I can write. So I kind of took a break from acting and started writing, working behind the camera, working for production houses. And I worked with some big production houses on some big shows which we launched. Then the, the whole tide of, you know, characters and film scripts and all that in Hindi cinema and television also to a great extent, that changed. So I said, hey, this is a good time to come back to, you know, being an actor. And so once again, the restless me, I kind of gave up all that came back to acting and since then I've just been acting. And in all of these different things that you've done over your journey, is there been a particular favorite role like that of maybe being in advertising or an actor or a director, a producer, a writer, a television? I don't know, you know actually, uh, people ask me, they're saying, when did you know you would be an actor? I said, I still don't know I'm an actor. I said, because I've just gone with the flow. I come from a family of academicians, you know, they're all very highly educated, they're physicists, doctors, engineers and things. My dad himself was a chemical engineer. So being an actor was never even considered in our family, you know, so it's always, you got to have a job, you got to do something and I, uh, me and my studies were like, yeah, I don't think so, that ain't gonna happen. But it just so happened that since childhood, you know, I've been interested in theatre and things like that because at, in, I still remember in grade four, I directed my first play, a play called Spartacus on the Greek uh, Warrior. My acting, I said, I've done radio, I've done television, I've done film. So why do I, why do I have to be focused on only one thing? I mean, imagine a banker. 
how straight jacketed would that be <laughs> right i mean just going to work doing your job leaving and every day it's the same thing here every day i get to play out a fantasy you know every day i'm a new character yeah you know every day i'm today i'm in front of a mic tomorrow in front of a live audience the next day i'm playing a character in a different look every day it's such a wonderful life it is so i can't really say that uh, there's this one thing i really like i liked all of them and they were there were you know portions of which a lot of them had their sense of like you know the pro probably the politics that go into certain areas of each each not just one, one each of them i'm just happy doing what i'm doing and by that if i'm getting everything i'm getting thank you god so i love my life i just really and of course there've been like i said bad days but you take it and say that hey you wake up tomorrow there's another chance you need to do it again and you've also recently worked with uh, marvel cinematic universe's superhero web series how was that experience yeah so that that was uh, truly it was humbling and first say it was humbling and god bless i mean i was a lot more fortunate than a lot of others you know uh, i managed to keep head above water and even during covid i would get some assignments where you had to shoot from home i have a manager in la so she sent me a script another script and she said that uh, hey test for this it's really big it was for the marvel new web show the new franchise lockdown had just started lifting so i requested a friend because the cues that had to be given from me for the other actor was of a girl playing my daughter's part so i called a lady friend of mine and i said yeah please come and help me with these cues and all that so there was all that fear about ah oh, coming in and traveling and all that but she lived close by so she came over she gave me cues now here's the thing i don't like too many takes because it gets repetitive and all and usually if i get what they say no sur if you know you've got the sur it's that's it so i did one take we both saw it she said i like it i said yeah even i like it for a change so she said ek aur kare just for safety i said what rubbish what safety nonsense chalo bhej milna to hai de de do so i sent it and uh, my manager loved it she forwarded to the casting director at mom that lady she loved it and then she said okay now we'll forward it to the bosses and all that and lo and behold in literally 15 days i was approved and i didn't know this here's the thing that you know abroad the way it works is that you first send a tape of yours then they call you then the casting director the team they test you then you sit with the production or whoever the director producers whoever they are i got that and october i was uh, in the states in atlanta and we shot this new web series called miss marvel the comic has been around for the longest time and it's a huge success and it's all about a pakistani immigrant family in new jersey living out a typical middle class life till the daughter i'm the father till my daughter realizes she has super powers and then as the story progresses she turns out to be new jersey's savior then she joins the marvel universe and and marvel being the number one production house in the world studio in the world so yeah it's completely at another level so it's damn exciting the journey has just begun 2022 is going to be uh busy and exciting too so fingers crossed Hopefully. yes fingers yes fingers crossed course. eyeballs crossed. <laughs> fingers crossed but nice it's nice it's nice knowing so much about you mohan and it's been so wonderful talking to you knowing your journey and it's really yeah. so inspiring everything that you've told us about your life everything everything is so inspiring thank you so much it's been a pleasure being here and chat with you